first I sort of knew about Scar was knowing who Madness were and that was about all really. Um, but meeting someone like Phil, you certainly soon do know about Scar. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Yeah, a few of the early bands I played with, um, you know, the more pub bands, we did the more commercial songs which went down really well in the pubs. Um, over the years I've kind of gone from band to band, uh, playing with different, different musicians. <laughs> playing with, with the band Scarville, uh, we tend to do bigger events, we're a ten piece band, um, we can't really fit in a pub window so we, we, we do tend to play the big, the bigger events um, where we've got a proper stage, proper PA system, proper sound, um, I mean ten of us, you know, the energy, we're, we're all on stage together, it's, um, yeah, it's really good fun. Well for my 18th birthday, I wanted a saxophone from enjoying the music. Uh, so my mum and dad got me an alto saxophone. I couldn't play the thing. Um, but I, I used to put the, the tracks on and join in, thinking it sounded right. I don't think it did, but I was happy jumping around the room playing this, this saxophone to it. Uh, Lee Thompson from Madness, um, I always liked how he played it. Um, so yeah, that, that attracted me to wanting to, to learn the saxophone. There was a charity event in the Dublin Castle. Lee was there, I had a chat with the saxophone player, uh, Smudge, and another lad called Bobby, who plays trumpet. So all four of us ended up playing One Step Beyond in the Dublin Castle with, with Lee Thompson. It went viral, I think it was seen about, by about 40,000 people within, within a couple of days. Yeah, my full-time job, I worked for a company called Advanced Truck Components in the motor trade. I'm the assistant manager. Um, I do all the buying and also on the telephones. I yeah, worked as um, a chef in my own restaurant. We set it up, um, ran it for about five years. When we when we sold the restaurant, uh, that's when I joined my first band again and uh, got back into the music scene. instruments that I have when I'm not playing a saxophone, percussion, uh, my vibra slap, the old uh, tambourine, and one Holly, my youngest daughter made me, um, a few added bits on that one, um, she's also learning the trumpet, the saxophone and clarinet. It's quite a hard gig to do, you know, it's when it's full and really busy and everyone's, you know, dancing away, it's, it's such an easy, easy, easy night. Um, so yeah, the more people in there, I just can't wait to get on stage. I, I, I want to be on there doing it. I'm like, a, I'm like a coil spring ready to bounce on. It's, it's great. The only times I get nervous is if you go on stage and you're playing your first song and you can't hear yourself. If you're thinking, God, this monitor system's not, not set up right and then you think, I don't know what I'm playing because <laughs> I can't hear what's coming back. Uh, that's the only time I ever get nervous. My name's Spud and I play drums in Scarville. 
I like a lot of different types of music. I always have done, and I've played a lot of different types of music. And ska music is basically dance music. Uh, the style of it, it's a dance band, really. You know. And when you're playing in a band like that, and people are dancing and enjoying themselves, that's why we do it. You know. It's as simple as that, really. My name is Josh and I'm the keys player in Scarville. I joined the band firstly when I was around 13 years old. You, you just play. You know, you've got, to play, you've got to play with the soul. If you don't play with the soul, then there's no point in playing. Like, if you've ever seen Mozart in the Jungle, you've got to play with the blood. It's like when you walk on stage, where you put your sunglasses, your hat on, your, your, your snazzy suit, suddenly it's like a mask. You feel a different person and also ego comes out. Basically living the dream, being playing by him. If the whole band bounce, you know, then the audience bounces. Sometimes it's hard to get the audience bouncing, but once once the audience are going, and it really drives the band, the band the band kind of step up into another level. You can tell, you know, it's going to be a good night um, by what crowd are coming in. It's been a lot of years and I've really got into the music, I really like the music. I really enjoy going to see the bands that we see, um, I really enjoy seeing his bands. Um, so yeah, he's definitely influenced my taste in music. At my wedding I still managed to you know, play on stage with the band I was with at the time. They played the wedding, um, we played a few you know, songs at the end of the wedding. So as I played One Step Beyond, the bride was um, on her own dancing with her friends. One step. 